Stormwatch. Where else? It might have been relatively quiet today, but this is just the calm before the next storm. 17's Marco Torres joining us live tonight from Northeast Bakersfield near the 178 with the latest on our stormy weather. Marco, good evening. You're dry tonight. That's good to see. Good evening, Jim. Yeah, I'm dry so far, but it's starting to sprinkle a little, so who knows what will happen in the near future. But, you know, just a few days ago, a white blanket covered our mountain region, and those icy cold temperatures got so cold, our highways, most of them, shut down. And now that we've had a little bit of a break, a new storm is on its way just right around the corner, but this one expected to not be as bad as the last. The California winter storm brought large amounts of snow and rain across Kern. Some places like Alta Sierra got too much of the white glistening flakes. The ski resort had to close after getting up to six feet of snow. Tehachapi also accumulated some heavy snow too. White Cat Mountains, contrasted by trees popping out of the blanket of white, made for a beautiful view for those traveling through the area once the highway opened back up. But the snow didn't stop there. Communities in the valley like Arvin also saw some snow. In this viewer video, you can see the heavy snowfall coming down right over their pool and their Kate car in front yard too. Lamont also saw some heavy snowfall during the storm, and even Bakersfield saw some action. A couple photos from a neighborhood in East Bakersfield showed front yards frosted over by the snow. But it wasn't just snow. There was rain, and lots of it. So much that parts of Bakersfield flooded, creating hazardous driving conditions. Certain parts of town, it's not properly managed. Driving on the 178, and I lost control, nearly hit the wall. And now I'm going to pick up my car, which is, like, salvage. So. These dangerous driving conditions were seen throughout Kern. Most of the highways leading out of Bakersfield were shut at some point, which made it difficult for anyone to travel. Well, it's obviously a real bummer, because I just would like to go straight down. But, you know, it is up in the mountains, and there is, like, a blizzard warning, so there should be a lot of snow. But conditions similar to Friday's storm are expected to hit our county between Tuesday night and Wednesday. Depending on the snowfall, highways like 58, the Grapevine, and the 178 might get shut again. Now it's recommended that you guys do not travel over the next couple days unless you actually absolutely have to. Now we cannot promise if the roads will stay open, but if you do end up traveling, make sure you bring an emergency kit. This is food, water, and blankets in case you get stuck out in the storm. Now I'm going to bring it on over to Candy who has a first look at your weather.